So run seven forty two to get beat. I mean, that's a that's a fast time to get yeah, second yeah. place. I mean, how are you feeling about the result? I'm happy with it. Like, I hate to get beat by a competitor like that in any race, but uh, going into this, we're kind of putting it in perspective. This is my first race of the year. I wasn't sure exactly how fit I was. I only done a few weeks of workouts, so I mean, I'll take that. I'm kind of got that long term focus. I know I'll be racing for another five months, six months, hopefully. So this is a good start. Yeah. I mean, how how do you how are you approaching this year, knowing that the world you know world champs they're not until October for you guys? Yeah. So uh, not too different from normal. Um, it's just you know I don't want to be too good right now. Um, I had a bit of interrupted training during December and January. And I'm actually like kind of content with that because I think in the long run that'll pay off for me. Um, but in terms of how Mick and I are approaching the season, it'll be pretty normal. We'll just take care of business in the NCAA season, and then after that, we'll uh, work out what I got to do for the the uh, World Champs, hopefully, and stuff. Yeah. It's the first race that you cross country championship. Yeah, it was my first race. Really, and then it's you and Fisher again, like yeah. just uh, battling it out again. Still wearing my same shorts. I actually forgot to clean them. <laughs> Is that right? I forgot to clean them after cross country, so oh, that's a little dirty. A little, little muddy, but uh, yeah. It was good to get back out there after being off the track for a little while. What was the interruption uh, January and December? Uh, just a bit of Achilles problems. Um, you know, I'm like any other runner, I get niggles here and there, and that's just what it was at the time. And I was down in Texas at my girlfriend's place, so I didn't really have access to like the same medical stuff that I normally have in Wisconsin. So it's kind of tough, but yeah, the way that me and that Mick and I spin is kind of like I probably needed that break physically and mentally, so. I think in the long run that'll pay off for me. Yeah. I mean, for a lot of that race, it was just Patrick leading you guys and you were all sort of settling behind. But, like, at the end, Fisher kind of got the jump on you tactically. Like, yeah. do you feel like you made a mistake at the end of that yeah. race? Yeah, I definitely do. Uh, I let him and Amon get around me a bit, and I had to kind of shorten my stride and go around. And then I made a move on the back stretch, which was probably a little too early because Fisher covered that pretty easily. Uh, but, you know, I'm happy to try out those moves at this time in the season. Hopefully, yeah. I can fine tune a little and come nationals, I'll have that stuff a little more down. Are you thinking about double A nationals? What is your schedule? Like? Yeah, the way this season has panned out, I guess I'm doing the 3K. Uh, we're tossing up about doing the 5K as well, and I'm still not sure. Uh, we also think we could probably put together a pretty good DMR, so we still got a lot of possibilities. Yeah. Are you ever going to watch this stuff? I mean, it's, you want to see a blazer, so... Yeah, well, I came second today, so I guess I need to clean it now. I'll start new. Uh, yeah, that was just me being lazy. So, I'll get on top of it this time. All right. Well, nice job today, boys. Thanks, guys.